guys, welcome to Irish Funny Vlogs and welcome to another video. Just before we get into the video, please subscribe if you're new, hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video and drop the video a like. I've left an option for a donation down in the comments if you want to donate and support the channel, help out the channel, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the video. As you know, this is the first division team of the year. Now, this is my opinion, obviously, from what I've seen, etc, etc. Uh, goalkeeper, we'll start off with goalkeeper, it's a good place to start, isn't it? Uh, this was a difficult choice, I have to say. There were three goalkeepers um, you know, up for nomination, so to speak, in my mind. Lee Stacey was one of them at Longford, always a solid keeper. Sometimes goes under the radar a little bit as well. Longford, a very good defensive record this season, and obviously got promoted. Uh, David Odomusu from Drottedy United, 19-year-old goalkeeper, made 18 appearances this season. Very, very strong season for him. You know, Drotted, uh, at the start of the season, you were probably weren't sure who Drotted's keeper was going to be, actually, with Grazzi and, uh, you know, Tracy there. But um, he commanded that number one shirt for the majority of the season and did an excellent job. He saved the penalty in one of the Drotted games as well. That was very crucial in them actually, uh, you know, winning the league. However, I've gone for Brian Marr for Bray Wanderers just about, just about. I mean, I've changed my mind a few times, but... um. Mar came in obviously from Pats would be of a reputation again a very young goalkeeper, um seventeen appearances for this season for Bray as well, huge part in Bray Bray's title challenge ultimately for me uh, some excellent saves come for a small goalkeeper he's quite commanding I have to say, uh, and he's got great spring in his in his dive and that kind of thing he also is very good with his feet so for me Brian Mar just about edges it out Bray Wonders. Now, right back for me, there was two main options. John Ross Wilson of Bray Wanderers, the 21-year-old, had a very good season in Bray's uh, league campaign. But for me, James Brown is the winner and wins it fairly comfortably, I have to say. He was outstanding this season for Drotted on the right, be it right back or right wing back. Uh, managed to get a goal as well, his first goal for the club. Um, you know, he made 18 appearances, scored one goal. Only 22. Uh, Drotted will be hoping to keep him next season. He's very good defensively, aggressive, strong, um, you know, supports the wingers very well, very good cross for the ball, and obviously scored a goal near the end of the season, which was a big goal against Cabin Teeley as well. So for me, James Brown, right back. Now, left back, there was two options for me as well. Mark Ludden, a Galway, the experienced campaigner, um, had a very good season with Galway, improved as the season went on, but for consistency throughout the season... I've gone for Connor Kane of Drotted United. The 22 year old was a standing this season for Drotted. He also made 18 appearances and scored a goal, the same as James Brown. Um, Roberto Carlos of the first division last season. He has this brilliant acceleration in his play that he, where he just he goes on a run with the ball from. He, he could run basically from the Drotted's box and find himself, you know, at the byline, at the end line rather. Um, in the opposition's half. So, um, yeah, like Connor Kane, again, a good cross to the ball, particularly from deep, actually. I think he's very good across the ball from deep. He's got a crack of his right foot, actually, this season as well. Um, very good young player, and he's signed up for Drotted for next season. That's a big thing for Drotted and a big thing for Connor Kane. Fantastic stuff. Connor Kane gets in at left back. Now, centre back, shout out to Charlie Lyons of Cove. The 20 year old was very, very good this season. Managed to chip in with a few goals as well. One to watch, by the way. Um, but to be honest with you, I couldn't go against Hugh Douglas and Aaron Barry of Bray Wonders. Now, Douglas obviously joined Drotada from Bray at the start of the season and was seen as a big coup. He took a couple of games to settle in. He wasn't in the team early on, but once he got into the team, the 27 year old really excelled, making 17 appearances, scoring a goal. Um, I describe him as glue. Uh, whenever a ball goes into an area high, um, I don't know, Hugh Douglas, like a magnet, basically seems to be there and gets headers away. Old-fashioned defender, very aggressive. Um, you know, real leader in that back line for Drotted as well. I thought he was outstanding this season, to be honest. Now, obviously, I gave the second centre-back back away in Aaron Barry. Aaron Barry, like um, Hugh Douglas, is also 27 as well. And... When Bray lost Douglas or let him go or whatever it was, um, you felt Bray obviously needed to bring in a centre-back of quality. And at the start of the season, you felt Aaron Barry was an excellent sign for Bray. Proved to be the case. He had an excellent season, a really good season for Bray. Commanded that back line. Um, again, good tackle, strong tackler. Um, good on the ball as well. Likes a cross-field pass. 
um, just a good all round defender. Aaron Barry with along with Douglas. I couldn't really see past some of the modern switches. So those two guys get in at centre back. Now centre midfield wasn't easy. I thought of Shane Duggan at Galway. Similarly though to Mark Ludden, he was very good when Caulfield came in, but for a lot of the season, remember it was a short season, uh, Galway weren't weren't that great. For seven or eight games, Galway were poor and probably miss out because of that, Shane Duggan. Um Kerrigan, Liam Kerrigan of UCD, very good midfielder as well, strong runner. Um, just about missed out. I mean, just about missed out. She was probably my third choice. But one of the two I went for was A. Dervin along for town. The 21-year-old made 19 appearances in the league this season, scoring two goals. He obviously scored that goal in the playoff as well to help get Longford um, you know, back into the, the Premier Division. Uh, similar to Kerrigan in many ways, very energetic midfielder. Um, defensively, you know, he doesn't give you a second on the ball. If you're a midfielder coming up against him, he's a bit of a wasp. Um, on the ball, he's more of a driving runner, as I said, from the middle of the park rather than a pass or someone's going to sit there and pass the ball. But, um, you know, Longford man as well, and he'd be delighted to Longford come back into Premier Division. So A. Dervin as one of the two central midfield players. The other central midfield player, I've gone for Dave Hurley of Cove Ramblers. Now, Dave is a player that is well regarded in this league and he came into the season I suppose well regarded but he uh he kind of proved how good he was as well as the season went on. Um he can play in a number of different positions in midfield actually he can play as a number ten, he can play as an eight, he can play as a six, uh he can do all the roles very well. I like him personally in the slightly deeper role. I don't know what he thinks, but um where he can pick up the ball from the centre backs, make things happen. Um you know he can play a simple pass he can play a long uh, pass to somebody's feet at the same time, a diagonal pass as well. Still only 22, 17 appearances, two goals this season. Uh, really, really, really strong player. Can do literally a bit of everything in the middle of the park. But what I like about him is that he gets on the ball and makes things happen. And uh, I appreciate that in a midfield player. So Dave Hurley is midfielder number two. Now on to the wings. Um, I suppose I'll we'll start with left. I'll go with Mark Doyle. There was only one decision to make here. There's no point looking elsewhere. Uh, Mark Doyle was outstanding for Drottas this season. The 21-year-old made 18 appearances in the league, scoring 13 goals. Uh, had a few games <coughs> excuse me, where he played up front as well, but in the main part of a forward line, a front three where he played on the left. Um, you know, Apart from the obvious 13 goals in 18 games, very, very, very good dribbler. Very difficult to um to get the ball off him when he gets on one of those mazy runs. He can make things happen. Um, I'd like to know how many assists he got this season. That's something that it's, it's very hard to find when you're researching the League of Ireland as assists and other things like that. But at the same time, the best way to judge a player is with the naked eye, regardless of that. Um, good crosser as well. Just a very, very good player. Again, Drodd have managed to keep him next season which is vital in my opinion because he's a very good player and Mark Doyle gets in left wing now right wing I'm cheating a little bit here I've gone for Brandon Kavanagh of Shamrock Rovers the 20 year old made 16 appearances this season scoring night goals when I say cheating um, he didn't really feature on the right an awful lot this season he was on the left he could pop up in the centre he can pop up on the right as well so it's hard to pin him down to one position, but look, you have to get Brandon Cavan into this team. As I said, nine goals and 16 appearances this season for the 20-year-old. Uh, very, very, very good footballer. Um, set pieces, extremely good from set pieces. Scored a few crackers from free kicks this season as well. Technically very good, as you would expect, coming through a Shamrock Rovers Academy. Um, and he really got better as the season got, went on as well. Anything Shamrock Rovers B did, he was... Uh, you know, central to most of it. So he gets in on the right wing. You might have guessed by now I went with a 4-2-2 and the main reason was I couldn't leave these two players out. You just couldn't. It was impossible to do. I will give a shout-out to Rob Manley, though. 20 appearances in the league this season, ten, uh, nine goals. Uh, obviously scored a goal in the playoff as well that um that got long for true after missing a penalty. That shows a lot of character, an awful lot of character. So Rob Manley deserves a shout-out. Probably started off a bit slowly, I'm sure you won't mind me saying for Longford, but really got into it. Yo-Yo Mad Maddie has to get in. I mean, 18 goals, 16 goals, 18 appearances this season for the 22-year-old. And that's just the raw stats of goals. For a start, that's enough to get him in, let's be honest, 16 goals and 18 appearances. But a player obviously links up very well with a player that might be mentioned in a minute, um, Collie Whelan. But... 
he can hold up a ball, he's mobile, and he runs the channels, and he can score goals. What more do you want? Fantastic stuff from him. Um, the question is, can UCD keep him on for next season? I don't know what the arrangement is there, but I'm sure a lot of Premier Division clubs are eyeing him up. Fantastic stuff from Yo-Yo, and he's striker number one. Shock horror striker number two is Colly Whelan, the 20-year-old, I believe he's a Waterford man, scored 15 goals in 19 games this season. Uh, not good enough, is it, compared to Yo-Yo? Unreal, though, for UCD to have two strikers that in those, you know, in half a season have got a striker to score 16 and then have another one to score 15. Unbelievable stuff from UCD, fantastic stuff. A credit to Andy Myler as well for putting two up front because a lot of managers don't do that. It's interesting to see. It used to be a thing that happened all the time. So it's uh, an interesting one. Whelan, a bit more of a poacher, I would say, than Maddy, uh, but linked up very well with Maddy as well. Uh, only 20 as well, so it'll be interesting. Obviously, UCD be hoping to hold on to at least one of those next season. Um, so, well done. Collie Whelan, fantastic stuff. And Yo-Yo, had to get the two of these guys into the team. So that's about it, guys. Um, Once again, I'll go through the team. Brian Marr, goalkeeper, Bray Wanderers. Right back, James Brown, draw the United. Left back, Connor Kane, draw the United. Centre back, Aaron Barry, Bray Wanderers. Centre back, Hugh Douglas, draw the United. Two central midfielders, A. Derwent, Longford Town. Dave Hurley, Cove Ramblers. Out in the wing, Brandon Cavanagh, Rovers B. Mark Doyle, draw the United. And the two boys in front, Yo-Yo Maddy and Collie Whelan from UCD. So, guys, what do you think? Do you dis- do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, is there anyone else you feel should get an honourable mention? I'll throw in Callum Thompson, actually, as an honourable mention for Bray as well. Um, and I'll leave it there, guys. See you again. And thanks very much. See you later. Bye-bye now.